Hello there. <clears throat> and welcome to another talk. Uh, <clears throat> and this talk is called the, the Electromagnetic Field of the Heart. I found this picture on the internet and uh, I thought I would do a talk with this title and this picture. You see, in science now, in uh, the Heart Math Institute, you know, they've, they've found th scientifically that, that the heart is more powerful than the brain. And that your heart is electromagnetic. But it's the right electromagnetic uh, frequencies. You know, you've got wrong electromagnetic frequencies and right ones. I'm not allowed to talk about what the wrong ones are because I would get my talk taken down. You see, <clears throat> and those people that do that are not in their hearts. But, back to what I was talking about, yeah, the electromagnetic field of the heart, what the Heart Math Institute says, is that through that, you know, when we we can actually connect through other people's hearts when we're heart-based and when other people are heart-based. And when you have this, you have like a heavenly situation where everything's in perfect harmony. You know, you might have experienced that ex experience maybe only a few times in your life, but that's heart, you know, that heart connection situation. Uh, like a psychic thing, and it's because the heart is... The, the heart is te 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 telepathic, and uh, and yeah, it's. I saw someone. I saw a talk by Age of Truth TV. Uh, someone was on, and he's this guy said that uh, it was sixty times more powerful than the brain, the heart. You see, it used to just be New Age nonsense, you know, but now the places like with the heart mouth issue, and also German New Medicine. They also prove that dis-ease is disease. And yeah, so that's what it is. Neuroticness is the fundamental, the, the, the core of illness. You know? They want you in, there's a, there's a part of your brain, you can look this up on Google, it's called the reptilian brain. <clears throat> the reptilian brain is fear, ego, anxiety, and that's when you when you're in your heart. Like that's why people have have like panic attacks because they're in their 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 reptilian brain. When you're heart based, oh, well, I used to have uh, terrible anxiety, crazy depression, suicidal thoughts. Drinking alcohol, taking drugs. The drugs I take now are supplements. Supplements, medicine, nootropics. You know, things that's, that's good for the body. But when I was like that, I didn't, I didn't care about my body. I didn't care about myself. And that's because I was in the head, in the ego mind, in the, in the reptilian brain, the fear. <clears throat> and uh, it's the same with these people. You see them, you, you know, on the internet and... They don't, they're calling everyone a narcissist, but they don't see that, that how narcissistic they're behaving. That's again, that's people that are not in their heart. If you're not in your heart, you can only help be in the ego mind, which is the, this reptilian brain. So, uh, and that's ultimately the, the only difference between spiritual awakening. I had an unexpected spiritual awakening at the age of 24. I'm 34 this year. <clears throat> and uh, basically, how I done it was I, I sat down one day and had it. Right? And I knew everything was going to change. What I'd done at that moment was I was authentic. When you're authentic, you're heart-based. Then it manifested the awakening. So you can literally manifest your own spiritual awakening process by being heart-based. 
because within there uh, is some sort of space. Some people say a tiny space, but there's a, a somewhere in the heart that obviously when I sat down and had enough, it connected me to the source of all life. Because the source is within the heart. That's why it's so much more powerful than the brain. And that's what I done. Unconsciously. And then the higher self starts kicking in. But it's through the heart that you access it. You know. That's, that's the power. The heart. You get all, so many people in the new age field. And uh, they do all sorts of things. <clears throat> But they do the one the one thing they don't do is live from their hearts. A few years ago, uh might have been last year actually, I'm not you know, very good with keeping track of time or how long things have been, but maybe last year or a little longer than that, a woman couldn't understand about heart based living. You see? Obviously she was very much in her head. And that's why she couldn't... She was a woman that, that was... I think she was going to all these different events. Spiritual events and very wealthy, but... Couldn't manifest that awakening because it's it's just a simple thing of being heart-based. When you're head-based, that's, that's... They think that that's the intellect. But it's not the intellect. The real intellect, intelligence is divine intelligence, which is knowing, which is intuition, understanding, insight into things. You know? It's a it's a channeling from from the higher worlds, higher powers. And those higher powers are connected to by being heart based. The heart chakra. That's all the spiritual awakening is. It happens through the heart chakra because within there, like I say, there's a space there. There's a portal. <clears throat> there's something in there in the heart area that is the connection to source because that's how I had my spiritual awakening. So I know that. Uh, so that's where the power is in the heart. And like the Heart Math Institute has said that through this, and um, they do science on it. They've done scientific studies on it. And basically what they say is that by having heart connections with people, that this is how we can heal the whole planet. Because remember, like like science says now, German New Medicine, <clears throat> they proved that, like I said earlier, that all disease is dis-ease. That's what it is. When you're heart-based as well, what starts to happen is the more heart-based you are, your decision-making starts to improve in your own life. You start making the great, the best decisions possible. You start knowing the way for your life. And what's happening is the heart is actually working with the brain now. And then you've got like this perfect intelligence thing going on. Not, that, I'm not saying that I'm intelligent, but... That it's the power within the heart that's intelligent. That's the connection to the higher self. It's like I'm not so intelligent that I could manifest a spiritual awakening. But the power is not the Shaw and the person. But it's the, this, this higher world power that is accessed through the heart. And like I say, when you're working with that, the brain actually aligns with the heart. And then you have divine intelligence. The only difference in divine intelligence and human intelligence is... Ultimately, human intelligence is that, but it's been brainwashed not to be. But divine intelligence is, is heart-based. <clears throat> and like I say, when you get the brain synced, linked in with the heart and you've got this perfect combination, like they're one, you're going to have perfect intelligence. You know, you're going to have... Instead of thinking, you're going to know. <clears throat> And that's the big difference. And, and yeah, your decision making starts to improve. You start to have like spiritual awareness, spiritual awareness, where you know what to say at the right moment to say it. That, that's heart-based living. <clears throat> People that have had spiritual awakenings that don't know about heart-based living, this is what they talk about, but 
It's basically, it's heart-based living. Spiritual awakening is heart-based living. Uh, and so merely they are the same. And you can induce your own spiritual awakening simply by doing this. You know, in my talks, I always give solutions and that is the solution. And also narcissism, like I said earlier, get these people talking about narcissists. And they don't see that that's narcissistic. Calling someone a narcissist, you're trying to demonize them to boot yourself up. Therefore, you're being narcissistic. These people need to get in their hearts. Now, once you start getting in your heart, instead of demonizing a narcissist, you'll start to be non-judgmental towards the narcissist. You'll start being more forgiving towards the narcissist. You'll start to be more empathic towards the narcissist. You'll start to be compassionate towards the narcissist. And then you'll realise that the narcissist was never external. It was always internal. You see, and then you'll start to have, you know, forgiveness for yourself. And then you'll start having more empathy for the narcissist. Because you realise that the narcissist within, was within you all along. That's another thing heart-based living does. It, 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 Like when I first had my spiritual awakening, I didn't know anything about heart-based living and everything was becoming me. Because unconsciously, like I say, I was, I was being heart-based. And, and yeah, that is where the power is. And when you start being heart-based, that's what happens. Everything becomes oneness. Everything becomes you. Everything becomes love, forgiveness. You know, all those kind of stuff. And I believe this is the cure to all the world's problems. Because everything is, is emotion. We are emotional beings. And, if, and that's the core of everything that goes on. Everything's energy and we create the energy by our thoughts and feelings. You know, if you're feeling feelings like jealousy, insecurity, that's not heart-based. That's ego-based. The heart would say, that person is part of me. So you're not going to feel jealousy then. You only feel jealousy when you're trying to compare yourself. That's when you're not in the not in your heart but you're in your ego self your ego mind but forgive yourself you know and when you forgive yourself you're being heart based there and uh, and the more you do this the more forgiving the more loving you'll become and you, like i said earlier your decision making becomes perfect in your own life and this is the cure, like I said earlier, again, to all the world's problems, I believe. And I'm just going to leave it there. For latest updates, talks, news, research, and much, much more, please do visit my website, regular. I post there every day. My website address is www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.